So I've been using the iPhone 11 Pro Max since launch and it's been my daily driver ever since. One particular feature that really stood out to me on the iPhone 11 since launch is the new and improved cameras on it. The video capabilities on the iPhone 11 in particular have been a blast to use. But what if I told you that there's a new app in town which upgrades the video offerings quite a bit? And here's the kicker, it's free. Oh my god. So I literally just came in to record this video right now. And yeah, everything's still not set up, but I gotta get the video done. What's up guys? My name is Lucy Fussain and today we are talking about Double Take, the app by Filmic Pro. It's basically an app from the creators of Filmic Pro, which is another video app that I've been using for quite some time now. And this one is called Double Take. And it basically gives you the ability to use multiple cameras at once. In this video, I'm gonna go over what exactly it does, why it's good and I'm so excited about it and how you can benefit from it, including scenarios we're gonna talk about that you can use this in and how exactly you can use it. Okay, what is it exactly? Okay, so let's say you own an iPhone that was released anywhere from the XS, sorry, 10S, including the 10R, all the way up to the iPhone 11 lineup, then you can use this app to access multiple lenses on the phone at once. This basically means that if you own the iPhone 11 Pro, you'd be able to use two of the four available lenses at once. The front facing lens, the wide angle lens, or the ultra wide lens, or the telephoto lens. That's a lot of options. So why is this so special? Well, for starters, it opens up a plethora of ways that you can utilize your phone to get more creative shots. It also allows you to get some creative shots in a pinch. Let me explain. Now, due to a lack of subjects, we'll be using these two lovely ladies here who are friends with my daughter. Like, it's so tough to make her sit up because her back is like has like nothing in there. So I kind of like trapped her legs down there just so that she sits up. My daughter's put like a band-aid on her too over here. So, you know, she's got, she's, she's a trooper, man. She's still in here. She's still in here to film this podcast. So let's say like you're actually filming like this, this sort of setup over here, but you don't have the resources uh, or you're traveling or something like that to set up multiple cameras. But with this new app, all you gotta do is set up this, this phone right here, right in the middle, and then select the two views that we want, the selfie camera and uh, maybe just like a wide shot and then confirm. Boom, you're set. Now you can see that you're recording one over here and you're recording one over here. And the best part is there's only one camera and it's your phone. You don't need anything else. Now this is pretty clutch in a pinch and you can get the job done quite well just using this technique. Another scenario that you can use this in, let's say you're at an event or a location and you don't know if you want to capture a wide angle shot that kind of establishes the scenario like we like to do, or if you want like a tight shot where you're getting close up of a subject or a object or anything, well, you can do both with this and you have the flexibility to switch between them when you're editing this video. Now, side note, you can also pull off these super cool zoom in and zoom out shots with this if you film with the ultra wide lens and telephoto lenses. Oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> it now, another scenario where this is super helpful in is if you want to record your reaction to something in real time. Now, there's several ways you can do this. For example, you can do this in the PIP mode, which is stands for picture in picture, not PIP. So basically you can have these two screens and you have like this picture in picture. It basically shows you both images on the screen and you can kind of move it around uh, wherever you want it to be. And uh, yeah, like this is what I want to show you guys. Like what the heck? This is insane. Have you all the geese from Canada are like over here. Oh my God. 
or you can do split screen mode. So basically you give both lenses equal real estate on your screen. So if you want to present something but want equal real estate. And it kind of just shows both things in like split screen. And lastly, you can just record them both in discrete mode, which basically records um, each of these lenses and each of these videos into separate files. And then you can mix them uh, between uh, one another as you wish while you're editing, like I'm doing with this one. This is really amazing if people want to showcase what they're filming, but also kind of want to show their reaction to it. So basically, not only can you show them your reaction, but you can also show them the subject of your awe, whether it is nature or a person, or if it's me. What does that, what does that even mean? God, I'm creepy. Okay, so in conclusion, I have a strong feeling that going forward, phones are going to have this built into it, uh, into their IO, especially with the whole, you know, like the smart AI feature that that brands are now putting into their cameras. So I have a feeling now there's gonna be like, like your phone will automatically take video or photos from like multiple lenses at once without you even knowing. And then you can kind of decide which one you want, or you can get like all four video clips if you have like four lenses pointed at something. So I think that's the direction that phone manufacturers are, are gonna to try to push sometime in the near future but until then we have this app on the iPhone and I really think that this opens up the door to tons of possibilities and chances for people to just get creative especially for reaction videos like I talked about earlier for example if you see reaction videos on TikTok this this is gonna be pretty cool to use so I'm pretty stoked about this all in all but I would love to hear how you guys are planning to use this and what you think it would be helpful for so let me know in the comment section down below and I'd love to get that conversation going and I read every single comment and I reply to every single comment so don't be shy in any case, I hope this video was beneficial and helpful to you guys. And if you like this video, then make sure you guys go ahead and crush that like button. If you like content around tech, gadgets, filmmaking, and lifestyle, then make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And as usual, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, Maria, can I use your doll? Sure, you can. I can use it for filming? It's an ouchie plant? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's pokey. Pokey? Uh -huh. Pokey plants? Look, that one has a band-aid, Maria. Did you put the band-aid on that doll? Yeah, because he got hurted. He fell down into the grass and he hurt into the great wall. I heard people. It's just gonna come with something. Anything you do outside in Canada right now. I'm trying to blow hot air into my nose. Like, I'm, but that is not warming up enough. Can you see the lenses though of the camera phone? <laughs>